hikers in my family. So today is the annual uh, plant sale for Yavapai College. In, it's actually in our little town of Chino that's in their extension office, which is where the Ag Center is. Um, I'm on my way out to pick up Shelby so that we can grab her. We've got a big bin in the back, or wag, one of our big wagons in the back of the car. And we are gonna be headed to the plant sale to see what they've got this season for us. <laughs> we gotta do a better picture, because we'll just like... It looked like Chop on the Hut with my head down. <laughs> Okay, so I just got back. Tristan helped me unload my Jeep. Um, <laughs> the roosters are letting you know. So Shelby ended up with about, oh, I'd say about $75 worth of plants. We ended up with about, well, about $100 worth of plants. So let me give you a show of what they had. Um, and I'm thrilled because now my greenhouse is going to be filled and then we can start planting in the garden in a couple weeks here. Um, still getting too cold at night, so... Tristan, like I said, unloaded. He actually put together a greenhouse this last week. We have another one coming in that he's going to put together. We're trying to get our yard and homestead completely organized. So let's show him what we got. Straight up. What I love about this plant sale is the fact that they've got some really, really beautiful plants and they're not terribly expensive. So we ended up with, these are all different types of herbs that we've got. Um, I have a hen and chick for inside the house. We've got strawberries to put in our big strawberry pot. I even got a pineapple plant for in the house. So that one will go in. Um, there's some mint that'll just go crazy. So let's walk into the greenhouse here. So we ended up picking up tomatillos. Um, because I didn't get a chance to grow them, but those, they're only $4 a piece. They're huge. They're, they're beautiful plants. And then we ended up with some sweet potatoes in here. Um, and these are ornamental, so they're not really going to grow anything. I'm actually going to put them in pots by my front door. And then over here, we've got some different grapes and raspberries and blackberries. I ended up leaving a few with Shelby so she could plant hers. Uh, her garden up, but we've got these getting ready to go into the garden and then like I said, and then our greenhouse is already full. We ordered all those Azure standard plants and they are in here too. So we've got those. We've got some potatoes that are already growing down here. Some sweet potatoes and some regular potatoes. I got a citronella that we're going to put up by the front door. We're just trying to keep them warm right now until, um, until the season gets going. All right, y'all. So there gives you an idea. This is an eight by 10 greenhouse um, we've got to put some straps on it to make sure that it stays put but once we get that going then we'll have a full greenhouse and we've got a bucket planter started that's where our potatoes are gonna go in here um, and then we've got our fodder down below so you can see it we just restarted fodder there it is um, so that's day one there's another, there's a bucket over on the other side over here and that's full of day twos. So make sure you like, share, subscribe, ring a bell and visit us on our next video. Have a great day. Bye for now.